Don Strzok, I'm the Executive Director of the Miccosukee Foundation as it, as it pertains to uh, the Miccosukee Championship. I've been the Executive Director of the Miccosukee Foundation for uh, four years. Uh, prior to that, I was the head coach at Florida International University. I started the football program there in 1999. Uh, prior to that, I was a coach at, with the Baltimore Ravens of the National Football League for three years. And prior to that, uh, I played in the National Football League for 17 years, 15 years with the Miami Dolphins, one year with the Cleveland Browns, and one year with the Indianapolis Colts. Well, uh, the Miccosukee Championship uh, started the first year was 2003. Uh, they had just changed over from the Nike Tour to, to uh, Nationwide Tour. Uh, so there were many changes that took place. The top 25 players from the Nationwide Tour at the end of the year after their championship. Uh, the Miccosukee Championship, uh, there's one more championship played, the Winn-Dixie Classic, which will be in Jacksonville. And then they play their tour championship, the Nationwide Tour Championship at Daniels Island in South Carolina. The top 25 money winners automatically get their card to go into the PGA Tour. And uh, it's a bad scramble. We have 23 of the 25 top money winners on the Nationwide Tour in 2010 here this week uh, to, to make sure they keep their position to be able to move on to the PGA. One of the most gratifying things about it is we've been had the opportunity to see many of our winner, winners of this tournament, the Miccosukee Championship, play on the PGA Tour and also win. And uh, we know them personally, so it's, uh, you kind of build a, a little bond with them. And they still call and thank us for everything we've done. This is one of the top three golf courses that they play on the Nationwide Tour. And as you know, down here in South Florida, it's hard to keep grass growing correctly at times, you know, because of the dryness or a lot of, of, of weather involved. But uh, uh, one thing that makes this tournament so great is we have over 200 volunteers every year and we have repeat people who come back every year and their dedication as volunteers and hard work and hospitality make this one of the favorite stops on the nationwide tour for the players and I get a lot of letters after the week is over we'll get a lot of letters 25 30 letters thanking us for taking such good care of them and just letting them go play golf instead of worrying about anything else. Uh, there's so many things behind the scenes that go on just to take place before this to be a successful tournament. Uh, and for the last four years, uh, you know, we feel that we have been very successful. Uh, we've been averaging uh, somewhere between $135,000 and $150,000 of proceeds uh, from the tournament uh, that are given to charity every year. Uh, some of the charitable organizations, uh, there's so many worthy ones, it's very hard to, to pick everyone, but uh, the Miccosukee Education Fund, uh, the Miccosukee School, uh, Big Brothers, Big Sisters. You notice that everything is involved in education and children. And that's, that's one thing that the Miccosukee Tribe is very big on. Not that many years ago, they built their own school. They, they get the best teachers to come out and teach the young people of the tribe. Uh, so it's very impressive what they've done as far as, uh, as the area is concerned, especially the charitable contributions. This golf course, the Miccosukee Golf and Country Club, uh, hosts golf tournaments every year.
itself is originally called the gentleman's game. You know, and it's, and it's uh, a game that you don't bend the rules in. It's a game that, that uh, you conduct yourself with, with the highest uh, of uh, integrity possible. And some of the greats who played the game, from Bobby Jones to Jack Nicklaus to, to Arnold Palmer to Gary Player, uh, for years and years and years, that is what is stuck in people's minds. You know, the integrity of the game. And uh, it is a game that, that, that uh, a lot of people can't play professional football. A lot of people can't play professional baseball, but everyone can play golf. You can go to a golf course and get a lesson uh, from a pro and be able to play, you know, within weeks and be and be competitive. So I think that's very important. Ladies and gentlemen, 2010 Big Championship winner, Mr. Jason Gore. Now I'd like to introduce the chairman of the Mixity Tribe of Indians of Florida. He's going to present the trophy and a little check right here to our winner. Please welcome Mr. Chairman Polly Billy. Thank you, everybody. Jason, I understand that today uh, you're setting a uh, nationwide tour today. You won your seventh game. I want to congratulate you. And then we'll want to present you with the winner's cup. I'm sure you'll find a place for it, Jason, I'm sure. Yeah. And I think you'd probably like to take this with you too. The winning check for first place for Mr. Jason Gore, $108,000. Yeah. Congratulations, Jason. I'm very happy today, uh, especially uh, with the fact that um, Jason Gore set a record by getting his uh, seventh win on Nationwide Tour. So it was a tremendous week. It is finishing up. That is the sad part. But I think overall, we did very good. Mm -hmm.